Hey, I'm going to show you how to uh, program your TPMS sensors on a uh, Silverado or uh, Sierra or actually uh, a few GM products using one of these $10 uh, tire pressure sensor monitor activators. And all this does whenever you hit this button, now you've got to be holding this right there at the valve stem. When you hit the button, you'll see the light flicker. If you have your system in uh, relearn mode, it will activate that sensor, or it should. If it's working, that sensor should activate. Uh, this truck doesn't need it done. It's already all good, but I'm just going to go around. I'm going to show you the exact procedure. If you needed to, if you rotated your tires, if you had new wheels and tires put on, and you have different TPMS sensors, uh, this is how you would uh, relearn the, uh, the sensors to the module uh, in the truck so that you can have the uh, you know have it all working the way it should be so I've got my this is a EL-50-448 you'll see a couple different versions of this this is supposed to be for GM uh, and other vehicles that use the same uh, the same type system that GM uses um, so we're going to go around I'm going to put this in relearn mode and the way you do that whenever you're here at your screen I'm just going to push and hold the uh, button and you'll hear a horn honk which I don't know if you heard that but it honked twice two quick honks uh, and it says tire learning active you're going to start with the left front tire So I'm here at the left front tire. I'm going to hold this right up here to the valve stem. I'm going to hit, push the button. You heard the horn honk. I'm going to go to the right front or the passenger front. And you have to do it in this order. Right rear. You'll hear a horn honk each time if you're successful. Then you should hear that two the two horn tone, and it should have went out of relearn mode. So they're all programmed now. Um, like I say, this is about ten dollars on Amazon. I'll put a link to it. Works like a champ. Um, I've also got another video of using my Autel, um, which is even a nicer setup. But for, no one's going to spend twelve hundred dollars on a scanner so they can reset their uh, pressure sensors. So go get you one of these for $10. Like I say, this is the EL50448. This specifically says for GM. Now there's some others on there that says Ford and GM. I, I've never used one of them, so I do not know if those would work on a Silverado or Sierra, Sierra or not. But if the system's working, that's as simple as it is. Um, anyway, I just wanted to show that to you. Because um, there's a few people having problems programming their sensors whenever they put aftermarket tires on or whatever. Now, something else to note. Make sure that the sensors... That this is a 2016 GMC Sierra. Going to be the same exact thing for the Silverado. They use 315 megahertz sensors. The 2019 and 2020 Sierras and Silverados use the uh, uh shoot what is it 400 and 413 megahertz sensors i think or something like that it's, it's in the 400 uh, megahertz range they're totally different sensors so this may or may not work i don't know if this is specific to the frequency of the sensor or just how the sensor is activated but this was specifically for gm um at least for this year making model so you know, do a little bit of research before you just order one of these. If you have a, I know that it's going to work for 2018 and down. Uh, I use this on my kid's Camaro. Uh, he's got a 2013 Camaro and it worked like a champ. Uh, and, you know, m most other GM vehicles, this is going to work. And it also, I think it also says it works for other makes and models. Can't remember what they are. I don't have anything else that this works with other than my GM vehicles. Um, 
But anyway, I just wanted to, to show you how quick and easy it is to, to use this. Anyway, uh, you guys take care.